to meet time. How's everybody? Today is the first day of the week. Uh, tomorrow we have, um, as usual, Dear Bumi, which is Wednesday. We have Nkechimadi. Nkechimadi will be here. On Thursday we have Bumi Lawson. Bumi Lawson is MD of a microfinance bank. She's a top finance executive. But she's so worried about this new... Is it a new phenomenon? No, but a developing phenomenon called Jackpa. You know, I mean, she's, she's a parent who don't think that when I said, just said Bumi Lawson, no, she's, she's a parent. She's MD of a multinational, multi, of a microfinance bank, but she's also worried, I think as a parent and as an elder, you know, and she put a call through to me to say, look, I'm worried about this Jackpa syndrome. We need to have a discussion about it. So that's what we'll do on Thursday. Then on Friday, we are going to have what might be a bit of a sad story. Somebody who is visually impaired uh, has said that he wants to come and tell Nigerians his full story. Now, he's not here to ask for anything. Don't think it's that kind of story. But that he just feels that people need to share what happened to him, you know, the things that happened to him. So that's what we'll be doing this week. So we look, you know, we have a nice week to look forward to. Today, today is very simple. We are going to have, it's not an open mic, but I just want you to give your opinion about what happened, the, the, what the Chatham House thing that happened yesterday. And so we'll be, no, I'm not going to repeat what I said. Um, I'd always, I think I'd always hinted that one of the ways to enjoy this program at nine is to listen in at 7.30. And also I want to hear other people. I want to hear what you think of what I consider the bad charade, you know, something that brought our country into disrepute, what happened yesterday. Um, I'd like to know what your views are. So, but we'll, we'll handle this nicely, and then we won't get as angry as I was at 7.30 this morning. Uh, if I overstepped a little bit, I do apologize, because I was very, very angry. Uh, because in these things, to be honest with you, our lives are at stake. It's not. It's not a joke. It's not about who supports who. It's not about whether you are from the same stock or what. You know, it, it's just that it, it's so crucial. You know, these things are so crucial now. I mean, like what happened yesterday is so crucial. You ask yourself, okay, so if I mean, so is this the way government is going to be run? These are some of the questions you'll be asking yourself. You ask yourself, what impression as Nigerians did we leave yesterday in the UK? Some of the things that you'll also ponder about is, when are we going to get away from this second slavery mindset? You're running elections in Nigeria. You, you don't want to talk to your people. You'd rather talk to your old colonial masters. And then you ask yourself, to achieve what? Uh, you also want to look at the issue... Um, <laughs> Chatham House is just a private organization. It's not any, there's no big deal. There are many like that, you know, there's no big deal. They're privately run. They run on donations and things. And it's a think tank. Um, it's a pity we haven't developed our own Chatham House here, um, which should have been. And, and it's not government, it's not a, an issue of government. Like maybe one should get together with certain like minds now and we might need to start something. If we can get the likes of, you know, Pat Tommy and, um, um, you know, Candy Johnson and so many of us. If you are, you know, um, what's the name of this lawyer now? The son guy, Uli Sagbakuba. People, you know, who, you know, who, you know, uh, of like my, like my, not necessarily support the same person, but we do need a kind of think tank, a, completely non political. Because Jadam House is a private initiative. It's no big deal. It's no big deal at all. And and um, and usually it's a place for ideas. But here we are. We went, you know, in a crowd. They had to keep telling us we were, the so-called supporters were clapping, you know, at every sentence and, and, and singing on your mandate. There's no mandate. Even that song itself is, is a bit inappropriate. Thanks to... Um, uh, uh, to Patrick Doyle, who called my attention to it. This song, I suspect, started from, from Abiola's time, when Abiola had a mandate, okay? So you remember the June 12th election, he had a mandate, and was insisting on the mandate, 
And that's where that song emanated from, you know, to urge him on, to tell him on your mandate. This gentleman has no mandate. So I don't know on what you're standing on. But don't let's go into the rhetorics of that. You know, so one so if you are not if you didn't feel offended, it's not an offense. And it's not a minus, it's comfortable with you. But as a Nigerian and as an African, and to put it bluntly, as a black man, I felt that what we did yesterday was completely inappropriate. Um, you know, that's my feeling. Um, I, I don't know what it was meant to achieve, but if anything, if you had to go by what I've heard on Nigeria Info from 5 o'clock this morning till now, then it hasn't achieved much. And I think, you see, when you have situations like this, sometimes you have some guy who's, who will then become the principal, and then you have hangers-on trying to impress him. You will notice that even spokespersons say things that would impress him more than it would even impress the electorate. Sometimes they, they use the means to show loyalty. When some things are glaring and you put up some kind of excuse, you wonder where all that is coming from. May the good laws help us all. I hope we are not looking at one big conspiracy here. Uh, my friend Abi Akwachira calls me a conspiracy theorist. But the signs are very bad. They cannot even be discussed on air. The signs are very bad. Signs are very, very bad. Uh, because to put it bluntly, um, there's some kind of movement, I don't know where it's coming from, that could jolly well hold all of us to ransom, including the principal. Well, we'll open up our lines um, when you do call. Call from a quiet place. Call from a quiet place. Try and bring your hysteria down. Um, we want to give as many people a chance as possible. So all these greetings and back and forth, just mention your name and please go straight to the point. 0700-993-993-993. And then the female line, 01465-7190. Let's respect ourselves, please. Leave this line for the females. No name calling, please. No abuses. Um, in fact, in the art of speaking in public, sometimes the things that you don't say are more important than the ones that you say blatantly. So let's let's have a fairly good discussion. It's 9.10 now. This session will go on till 9.23 when we take a break. We'll come back after the break and it will then go on to 9.55. So good morning, everybody. Let's sit back and let's get this thing rolling. And like I said, let's just stick to the rules. Also, turn off your radio. And please don't call from a bathroom or kitchen where you can have an echo. Okay? So let's have fun. We'll take the first caller. Hello, good morning. Hey. Hey, Kelvin, how are you? I greet you. Yes, sir. Yes. Let me take this scenario. I well, sometimes this year. When I, want to, when I want to buy the car, what, the first thing I did was to ask the man to diagnose it. Yeah. And when he diagnosed it, yes. to see what are the, what the problems of the car is. Hmm. And after he diagnosed it, the car was okay, and I paid for it and drove home. Mm -hmm. What we saw yesterday was losing. Some presidential candidate has been diagnosed yesterday, yeah. politically. Yes. And everybody that is an adult has watched that thing, and you know the result. You can see the result yourself. Mm. And what also happened yesterday was a joke. And if it's not a joke, or if it's a joke, I think it's a joke taken too far. Mm. It's an aberration. It's a comment of errors to me. And it was also an insult to the media who fought for democracy. The media, for those that don't know, the media played a vital role to, yes. for democracy that we're enjoying today. I will not forget th those days of 10 and six of them. Hmm. So coming to insult the media on a global platform is a complete aberration. Hmm. And finally, it was also an insult to democracy. For those that spilled their life for democracy, for the life of Dr. Beko Rasokuti, the life of Ghani Fahami, and the great Enko himself, it's a complete insult to democracy. And it was clear for everybody to see. So the choice is for Nigeria. Nobody come here unless they are complaining. No. You have seen what you have there. You have seen the passes all over. Mm. So by next year, after the elections, don't come and complain. 
what you have is your consequences. So you live with it. Okay. Good morning. Morning. Well, that's that's very clear. Um, what you see is what you get. Okay. The good thing, I, I, this is what I think. You know, every time you report gaffes, you report um, blue blue and all these things. The <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> All these things are signs for you to see. God would not come down to do anything else. So it should help make you help you make your choice. And you should be ready to live with it. Uh, our job here really is, is to... We can't tell you who to vote for. That's not our job. We, we, not, we are not even allowed to. Even the law of nature doesn't allow us to. If we want to do that, we should go join the politicians who will campaign. But at the same time, the, the days of journalism where you have to be 100%, I am biased in this matter. I've made it absolutely clear from day one. You know, I gave, uh, you know, I, I belong to the journalism that sometimes has to take a position between good and bad. Uh, in, 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 in trying to ensure balance, I'm not going to allow or sit back and not say nothing whilst my country is derailing. Uh, those who have done that in the past, I've seen where we are today. We, we, you know, we just stroll slowly, in a very slow manner, we've now found our back against the wall. So whether we want to bounce back or we want to go down the ditch, is for us to decide. But we will continue to do our best, you know, to guide your life. Because some of the things that you see in social media, oh my God, some of the thinking, imbecilic thinking, thinking that shows absolutely no reflection, not even deep reflection. It frightens me, all in support. I mean, I'm sure somebody, some of you saw one video that went viral with some actor stripped, stuck naked, praying to God. I believe that there's only one God. I would have loved it if that, uh, that actor was praying for the salvation of his people. That's all I beg God every day as it concerns Nigeria. Salvage us. Take us from... I, I, I now cannot dictate to God who it might be. For all you know, it might not even be the person that you think. Or it could have been the, the rejected stone. But I just always beg God to bring salvation to my people because I don't know for how long more we can bear... i give you an example. I'm a full grown adult at 67. I should be a pensioner. I dare not stop working. I can't afford to. I was telling somebody downstairs, my electricity bill combined every week is about 20000 in, in January, it's going to go up to close to 37000 a week. So now, after spending so much money putting air conditioners in this terrible heat, indeed in some establishments today, some offices you go to today, they can't even put on air conditioners for people to work in comfort. Then don't let's go to the issue of food. You know, then don't even go to the issue of hospitals. There was news uh, last week that almost almost all our doctors have left town. So this country is slowly but surely degenerating into an uninhabitable place. I'll take the next caller. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Morning. Hello, good morning. Morning, sir. Good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Yes, sir. My name is Peter. Um, for the first time, I'm calling your show. I want to thank you for all what you have done for humanity. Um, uh, Uncle Jimmy, what happened yesterday? I watched it live. was a complete insult to Nigerians and to the Africans. How can somebody ask you a question? Presidential candidates... Why do you want to be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? And you refer. Why are you referring? Um, Oga, it is well with us. And those people that push him, this is how they push Abiola to death. And they have started again. Hmm. Thank you, sir. All right. The morning shows the day, and I'm sorry to make this referral. The morning shows the day. From the moment this gentleman referred to the fact that it was somebody else that filled his form, his INEC form, when he was going to run for governorship, 
why would you then be surprised that he's delegating answering of questions now? A form, yes, so if a serious thing form you're supposed to fill and then sign. You said you delegated it to somebody else. Can we pick that, um, what's that now? That's Skype. I hope it's from, I hope it's not in Nigeria. Hello, good morning. Hello. Morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. This is Kenny from, yeah. from Finland. Finland, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, about what happened yesterday, I just mm. want, I would just like to toe in with uh, what you said during, during Sherry's program. The truth is, Bart does not have the responses to the questions that were being posed to him. And a lot of people don't know the far-reaching, far-reaching, what, a lot of people don't know what this means. Because now, a, a student can then say that when you give me an exam, I have the right to delegate the answer to someone because I have a team that can answer for me. <laughs> I can go to an employment office. You ask me a question, I said, okay, let me call someone else. To answer, answer the question. Or... <laughs> because what this is doing is setting a precedence that mm. a lot of people are not yet ready for the far-reaching result or the consequences of what, of what will happen. I pray God helps us, and I pray people are wise enough to see what is really going on. Okay, and just before you go, luckily you are in, you are in Finland, you are outside the country. Uh, Finland, well, I don't know how many people in Finland are interested in what's going on in Nigeria. But given the fact that at least you've lived in Europe, what do you think this has any effect on the way Nigerians are perceived? Hello? Oh, he left. Oh, oh what a pity. Okay, let's um, take let's take another one. Hello, morning. Hello, good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Morning. Uncle Jimmy, good morning, sir. Morning. Go on, go yeah, on. My, my name is Shola. Yes, please I'm just go on. From, uh, go, go on, you have just a, just a minute because time is um, running. Okay. Um, Uncle Jimmy, I just want to express my my sadness at the turn of events in this country, mm. particularly, you know, about uh, Bat Tinubu. You know, what beats my imagination is how people will see this man and still believe he's the best. You know, the well, that's that's a that's a matter of personal choice. So no, just go. Yes, true. Do you just because make your what, point, okay? Yes. Because what happened yesterday, mm. you know, it's it's so glaring that um, Jagaban doesn't have what it takes for this country. Sentiment aside, mm. you know, I think we are we should have gotten to a stage in this country where we should go for the best. The future of this country is at stake. Thank you, Uncle Jimmy. God bless you. Okay. Um, well, what I know for sure, because I've got myriads of calls, is that discussions are going on all over. I wouldn't say even just all over Nigeria, all over the world about yesterday. Yesterday's incident was very, very revealing to the point that even those who have been sitting on the fence have had to get up and at the very least put a phone call through, expressing some concern or the other. It, it, it's it's funny because the people that sort of, if you saw the video that then went viral, they were happy. You know, the candidate and his people were very happy with themselves that they pulled it through, and so on and so forth. But a lot of us, so many discussions are going on now, and I'm wondering what Buhari would be thinking. For example, somebody told me this morning, "Can you close your eyes and imagine if it was Oshibado that was at Chatham House?" We'll take a break and we'll be right back. Talk never stop. When I collect my salary, my husband will lock me in the house and make sure I submit to the home money. My wife woke me in the night one certain time and he asked me a question that I should swear whether I cannot cheat on her. Mm. <laughs> and leave the sleep just collect. <laughs> Spending what little revenue we have to look for oil is a waste of money that could have been used to diversify our economy so that the government has other revenue streams. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. 
Good morning, Lagos. Me, I'm here to share, remind you of your DSTV subscription, just in case you haven't done it, because the World Cup is going on and everybody is talking about this. There's a lot of fun. I mean, discovery, excitement, shock. Are you part of it? Are you catching all the action live and in HD on your DSTV? There's been a lot of wow moments. I mean, the greatest surprise has to be Saudi Arabia defeating Argentina. Oh, I think I've said that before. What about the fact that Spain has defeated Costa Rica? Abi Morocco defeating Belgium. Portugal among the first to qualify for the round of 16 and Bruno Fernandes being their standout player so far. Then there's this talk about um, Sadio Mane who um, did not know. Senegal actually made it to the next round without Sadio Mane and people are talking about it. Will he be healthy in time to carry them the rest of the way? Now you have to find answers to this but you cannot find the answers if you don't have your DSTV, right? So please make sure that you're subscribing and younger subscribers, do not worry. They have you in mind. I mean, this one is actually for you. You can enjoy all the games in the FIFA World Cup on DSTV Younger from just 2000 950 naira only so stay connected to dstv and don't miss out on all the action from the fifa world cup in qatar live and in hd on super sport don't say i didn't tell you thank you my name na ekele and na accessories i they sell <laughs> whether na earring go belt even cufflinks them even my shop na but people no go buy what they know they see na Abi, to you, I just they flood your timeline. To me, eh, my phone now my shop, my Airtel data now my rent. <laughs> the important things in life are powered by data. Dial star 141 hash to choose any data plan that works for you. Airtel, the smartphone network. We don't die for every day. Now so so. Vote Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adediran Jando as Governor of Lagos State. PDP Power to, to the, the people. people! Ladies and gentlemen, you asked for strong tea? I hope you're ready for it. Introducing New Lipton Extra Strong Tea. It's strong tea like you've always wanted. Expertly blended with a strong burst of flavor, intense taste and aroma, all in one bag. Now, that's a tea drinking experience like never before. So, strong tea anyone? Lipton Extra Strong. Strong burst of flavor, intense taste. Words are powerful, but even more powerful is when they are backed by action. Which is why at Keystone Bank, we don't just say you are important. We show you how important you are to us by providing you with simple and innovative banking technology that hit home. From our online banking and mobile app to our star 7111 hash platform to our super fast loan services and so much more. In Keystone, you'll find a refreshing approach that takes banking from being bearable to pleasurable. Experience customer dedication and refreshing innovation that go beyond words with Keystone. Keystone Bank. We grow together. Oh, what fun it is to win in the Lush Hair Braids to Millions promo. Christmas came early. Everyone is a winner in the Lush Hair Braids to Millions promo. Get free 100 MB MTN data guaranteed on each pack and a chance to win 1 million Naira, a car, generator, and other amazing prizes. Simply buy Lush Hair Wow, Ready, Jumbo, or Mega Braids Pack. Open the pack flap, scratch for pin, and SMS your unique pin to 38353. Hurry now. Terms and conditions apply. Lush Hair. Be beautiful. Promo starts on the 1st of November and ends on the 15th of December, 2022. <laughs>
You buy this season, they come with 10% extra free. That now more value and more nutrition for the same price. Offer valid while stock lasts. Nestle, good food, good life. Share Holandia goodness this season. Hi there, my name is Mercy Johnson Okoji. My name is Joke Silva. Hi there, I am Apoko Doctor. My name is Chef Winnie, aka Delicious Food. It's your boy Cruz with Joe. I love cooking. And my choice of cooking oil. And my choice of cooking oil is power oil. It's power oil. My choice is power oil. Use power oil. It's triple filtered. It contains omega 6 and 9. And it's fortified with vitamin A. Plus, it comes in different packs and sizes. So you can afford it without breaking the bank. The biggest set of the year, Konga Yakata, is here again. From 11th November to 12th December, you will enjoy amazing discounts on a wild range of products, including exclusive fly deals, payment options, logistics, and lots more. Genuine products are cheaper at Konga, the e-commerce group you trust. Before now, getting a good HMO that works perfectly for my staff was a hassle. I decided to try Reliance HMO. I registered all 100 staff in 5 minutes. I have access to 24 hours responsive helpline and an account manager that helps me with whatever I need. My staff loves the access to the gym, spa, dental care, and hospitals. I will recommend Reliance HMO any day. Visit ReliancehMO.com forward slash corporate or call 0700-7354-2623. Reliance HMO. You can rely on us. My name Naikele. And na accessories I they sell. <laughs> Whether na earring go, belt, even cufflinks to them. Even my shop na, but people no go buy within they no be seen na. Abi, to you, I just they flood your timeline. To me eh, my phone na my shop, my Airtel data na my rent. <laughs> the important things in life are powered by data. Dial star one four one hash to choose any data plan that works for you. Airtel, the smartphone network. It's the time of the year, come let's chill together. Pop Chibita make we jolly. Yeah. All over Nanja, anywhere you day, share Chibita with your family and friends. Enjoy this Christmas. Everyone has a Chibita this season. What's your Chibita? Economy today stronger, our naira today better. The central bank done with design, 200, 500, and 1,000 naira no shares. So carry go, son go, carry go, uh-huh, carry go. Carry your money to a bank, all your 200 naira, 500 naira, and 1,000 naira no Carry go, the call you down. Central Bank of Nigeria don't announce it. You won't change our 200 naira, 500 naira, and 1,000 naira notes. Why? Some of our naira don't dirty. CBN won't make it hard for bad people where they print fake naira. All those people where they hide big money must carry and go back if they know one loser. If all this money enter back here, aha, inflation go reduce and it go favor all of us. If you don't get back account, no worry, oh, visit the nearest bank. May they open account for you. Meanwhile, you fit continue to the use ATM, POS, USSD, and others for your transaction them. New naira notes. Today, available. 
available from December 15, 2022. This message now from Bankers Committee. <laughs> Grand pack of golden more you buy this season, they come with 10% extra free. That now more value and more nutrition for the same price. Offer valid while stock lasts. Nestle, good food, good life. You summon the oracle now. Greetings, my king. How can the oracle serve you? <laughs> you will tell me the secret to your power. How did that keke move without a driver? <laughs> Slow to zero lag and buffering, multiple connections and quality data sharing. 5G will give you amazing things like remote surgeries, self driving vehicles, instant file downloads, smart homes. Don't be stupid, ass. 5G's amazing technology will change the way we experience life and the internet. Get ready to encounter the incredible. And remember, no be you do now. MTN 5G. Today is a good day. A good day to take a walk. A good day to reach for your goal. A good day to finish reading that book. A good day to connect with your friends while doing the things you love. A good day to shoot your shot. A good day to enjoy life to the fullest with Malta Guinness. Malta Guinness. Enjoy a world of good. Oh, this is why I don't like watching TV. I can never find anything to watch. The voice nudger is back. Wait, what? You heard right. From the 24th of December, on DSTV, Star Times, Views, RTV, and TVC, you can catch the fourth season of The Voice Nigeria. Your Saturdays just got more interesting. The Voice Nigeria. Unstoppable. Brought to you by Fastback. Connected by Airtel. Refreshed by Coca-Cola. Insured by Leadway Assurance and in association with JAC Motors and Zaron Cosmetics. I dream of a new Lagos where we leave our homes and return the same. <laughs> Safely hold our bags and phones on the streets. But not anymore because no city is above the law. Follow the lives of two detectives as they bring justice to Lagos in this fast paced action drama series, Crime and Justice. Coming December 8th, only on Showmax. Subscribe from 1,200 Naira monthly. Sign up now at Showmax.com. Hey, what, Razi? Why do they shake like fat wearing in deep now? Now malaria, malaria won't kill you. Malaria, kwa. When I get a masonat for house, a masonat go kick that malaria come on your body like bulldoze away or put you. Oh yeah, take, use them. Hey, 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 Mama Karu. Mama Karu, I won't go brabba chico the house to go collect money when they owe me. No, nah, no, nah, malaria don't come off. Mama Karu, I thank you. I thank a masonat. Malaria don't come off for my body. Yes, Amasunat is an active anti-malaria drug that helps family treat malaria. Amasunat has artemeta and mifantrine with variants for both adults and children. Amasunat is marketed by Greenfield Pharmaceuticals Limited and can be purchased at any pharmaceutical shop near you across Nigeria. 99.3 Nigeria Info, your number one station for talk. Let's talk. Back. Welcome back. This is Daily Digest with Jimmy Disney. Yeah, you're welcome back. Uh, sorry we extended a bit more than usual, but we'll try and make it up for you. Okay, we've had one or two reactions and... Um, I like Feta to read one or two of them to what we're saying. 
Okay. This person says, Uncle Jimmy Disu has not hidden his feelings to anything Tinubu. Yeah. He likes to overheat issues that has yeah. to do with Tinubu. Okay. Then this person says, Uncle Jimmy, my name is Samuel. Yes. The, the more painful thing about this show of shame is that some people still have the audacity to defend it. How low can we go in this country just for the ambition of certain people with selfish interests? Oh, okay, interest? fine. Fair enough. The, the, the first one is of more <laughs> concern to me, which I will address very quickly. I had said from the onset, and I'm glad that somebody reminded me, in 2014, when Buhari became president the first time, I remember saying there, not on this station, on another station, that that was the peak. You see, whatever you might feel about this gentleman, you cannot take away his political success and his political prowess. Whatever you might think, whether you like the manner in which he's done it, it's a different thing. But when it comes to politics, he's a master of the game. And you have to give him that credit. And I said that as much in 2014. But I also said that this seems to be the zenith and that if he wants to take a step further, he might have to be ready for the mess that might occur when, you know, invariably sometimes in life, we don't know when we have gotten to the zenith. And that is exactly what is happening now. And I have a bigger quarrel with his supporters who are urging him on because they are not fair to him. They are not fair to him. It is a pity to see things this... Look, the, the time has come when we need to tell, uh, tell ourselves the truth. It is my view that all this shouldn't be happening to him, given his past contributions and his success in politics. And, and I've had to take out one or two people, I wouldn't like to mention their names, and told them that you're not fair to this man. Three, four years ago, nobody would be talking like this in public to him about this looking out for gaps and so on and so forth because it, it is quite clear and with every passing day it continues to unfold so it's not a matter about hitting i don't have any i've never even met him i've spoken to him twice on the phone and he called me he, you know I, I said we should try and meet and i you know i said sorry you know but that's that's beside the point it's not you especially you young people there's nothing called hating so why would i hate him even if you said it's more of liking myself to determine my future, I'll say, yes, it's okay. What are we supposed to do? Sit back and do nothing? If you can't see what, what we are seeing, then so be it. But look, some of us are a bit worried, and, and we would have to call out that worry, okay? Now, it's not about me. Let's take some other views. That's another one here. Hello, good morning. Hello, morning. Morning. Hello. Morning. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, Uncle Jimmy, I think I have other opinion about this uh, discussion going on. I'll be glad to have I, you. I watched the video completely from the beginning to the end. Yes. Where are you, uh, what's your name, sir? Where are you calling from? My, my name is uh, Ola. I'm calling from Scotland. From Scotland, good. Yes. So I watch it from the beginning to the end. Yes. And in terms of capacity, yes. The man answer question or the one he delegated to Edu or so. Edu could not answer it. The question about Heineck, he has to answer it by himself and he give a brilliant performance. Okay. So I would advise to go and watch it from beginning to, to the, the end. end as well. Okay. Uh, before they now make a judgment. Okay. I Thank think you very that's much. Just my own. Okay. Sorry, sorry for the interruption. That this happens when you you have a persistent color. Now let's go back to the local. Hello. Point. Hello. Yes. Morning. Uncle Jimmy, I greet you. Good morning, sir. Morning. Who's calling? My name is Uche. Okay. Where are you calling uh, from? My voice has changed, right? My name is Uche. The Uche you know from Ikeja. I'm in, I'm in England now. Uh, Oti Jakpa, stay away, Joe. You left us <laughs> behind. <laughs> are you on vacation or you are coming back? Uh, could you be, we will discuss that off air. That's yeah, yeah thing, why you leave me now is a shame. <laughs> it's a shame. Okay, let's hear what you have to say. 
Ah, Uncle Jimmy, it's uh, you see, I was listening to you this morning with Sheriff, and um, it's pretty sad. And I just also listened to the comment that somebody sent to you. Mm. It's sad how we view these things. Mm. You see, people still don't understand the point you make when you talk about these things, and I agree with you 100%. But Uncle Jimmy, guess what? For me, if you ask me, besides the show of shame on the part of that presidential candidate, let me not uh, mention his name. But I also feel, to a large extent, Uncle Jimmy, I don't know if you agree with me, that somehow there's also this conspiracy from the West. Mm. Is it that they don't want things to work well in Nigeria? For Look, you asked a man, a presidential candidate, questions. Mm. And every question he kept referring to his proxies. Why did you not insist that I am asking you this question? Answer me directly. Mm. I didn't get that. Yeah. And that was... You see, Uncle Jimmy, <laughs> Uncle Jimmy, honestly, eh, it's it's sad. Look, I've been here now for like three months. Yes. And I have a lot of things that I have discovered about us as a people and about where I am presently. Hmm. It's sad that we can't get our acts together. It is painful. Yes. But, yes. well, let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's see how it goes. All right. I like to I like people to understand that when he says the West, it means the Western world, not Western... It means the Western world. Thank you very much, Uche. Uh, uh, and uh, yes, um, well, the, there's a tradition in Chatham House. I don't know why it was broken. But like I said earlier this morning, one of the things I look forward to is the audited results of uh, Chatham House. You know, they run on charities and donations. And I like to see their donors list and how much has been donated and see maybe it will give us a better picture of what could have taken place yesterday. But let's take uh, another call here. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, sir. morning. Yes, morning. Yeah, this is Peter calling from the Fortune sir. Yes. Yes, yes sir. So, it was so disappointing when somebody had saying that she won the video from the beginning to the end. It's so sad. Even this guy can even call from outside the country I'll be telling you you should watch the video from the beginning to the end. Hmm? Direct question, you cannot answer it. But we can do better than this. Okay, thank you very much. Let's pick another call. Hello, good morning. Hello, morning. Yeah, I'm good. Morning. Don't we have a call on the female line? No. No, okay, our women are not talking today. Hello, good morning. Yeah, um, I have this morning. Yes. The line is not clear. Okay, let's pick another one. Hello, good morning. Oh, good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Morning. Yeah, this is Pastor Ladebo. Yes. I'm calling from Murilegum. Yes. Uncle Jimmy, I think I want to throw the line of that Uche. Yes. It is a serious conspiracy theory. Because if you want a nation to move forward, mm. and they bring out their candidates, what... The question I want to ask is this, Uncle Jimmy. Mm. What was the purpose of going to the Chatham House? Hmm. Is it not to communicate? No. You, you didn't, they asked you a direct question. You didn't answer. Mm. You now delegate the question. Good. But my take is this. I want to appeal to every one of them supporting this thing. Do they have their own filling station where they are buying fuel cheaper now? Or are they not tired that the way situation is going on now? We need the pragmatic leader that we talk with this, not the one. See, Uncle Jimmy, sincerely speaking, Wari would have done better. But most of the process that we are choosing to work with him, they sabotage his efforts. The same thing might repeat itself again. Okay. I'm telling you, Uncle Jimmy. All right. Okay. Morning. Morning. Hello, good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Morning. Yeah, this is the first time calling on your show, but yeah. always listen. Um, the name is Arizo from Ajegule. Okay. Ah, but this is this is sad. I also I also like to agree with uh, Pastor Ladipo on that one. I see the conspiracy from the Western world because the purpose of going um, to a place like that at the first place is to communicate, yes. ask direct questions. Right, but uh, they just let everything slide when he when he delegates the question to someone. Uh, they don't 
they don't push further to get the answer from the this is our candidate the people is delegating the, the questions to uh is the one we we know this one that we want to be we want to vote for not his delegates yeah but it's, oh, it's oh. very very sad that okay okay thank you yeah. i i think i need to answer that um in this particular instance, I don't think there's any conspiracy from the Western world. I expect our journalists to dig deeper into what took place and find out if he was actually invited or this was arranged. I feel disposed to the fact that it was probably arranged somewhat because even the questions where people were saying questions, oh, I was one of your beneficiaries of this and that, all these things to me look like a badly put together PR campaign. Remember that you have PR companies who can fix anything for you. One of the candidates, it was said, his visa was fixed for him by one of these PR companies for a fee. So I, I, I so when I make that sarcastic, sarcastic remark about looking at the donors list, Chatham House is a private enterprise, okay, and it's a pity that we don't have an equivalent of that. Nigeria at this point in time should have had his own uh, center of intellect, non-partisan, where people would come in, deliver lectures, and so on and so forth. Even in the absence of that, a university should have taken up that that role. Uh, and this is a challenge now to pan to Pan African University. Um, the reason why I say so is that they're private, they're non non religious, and so they have. They should, I hope will build up a, a, a faculty of what I call a faculty of deep thinking, where you can invite people, you know, maybe it's once a month or whatever, and deliver a first grade lecture. Chatham House is known for intellectualism. It's for intellect, it's not for political brickbats and chanting songs. And it's not the parliament. Uh, uh, it's not a place where you, you should be unruly, clapping at every sentence. It's, 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 I've watched some other things that they've delivered there. You come, you give a lecture. In fact, I think Obasan Jotsu did, I don't know whether it was Chatham House, I can't remember, but it's a place where you go in in a dignified manner, sit down gently, you know, listen, you can almost hear a pin drop, listen to the lecture, and then the lecturer takes about 5, 10, 15 minutes to answer questions based on what he has said. About what? So I don't think there's a conspiracy. If there's any conspiracy at all, we are our own conspiracy. Um, and therefore, all of us will have to pay dearly for this. Um, it, it, it's another dot on our white shirt, which is getting looking more like uh, off-white. Uh, um, yeah, because you see, this was seen all over the world, and uh, I jolly well don't want to imagine, you know, in what light uh, yesterday's event has put us as Nigerians. But it's okay. I mean, these things do happen. I thank the good Lord that he is making a lot of things visible to everybody. So you cannot say, I did not know. That's the benefit of it all. I think God is at work, showing all these things. is getting clearer by the day. Uh, and uh, that's the best we can do. So all our prayer warriors should intensify their prayers, that God should guide us aright to make a good decision come 2023. I think I'm going to end it here, even though I still have about three minutes more. But is there any call on the female line? No. None. None of our females is talking. It's amazing. It's quite odd. Where is Alex? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so we'll end it here. I'll be back again tomorrow. Tomorrow is dear for me. And, you know, uh, I haven't Kechi Modi. Kechi Modi is the mother of the twins. You remember the twins who scattered the studio here one day? Uh, the big fish is coming, the big mama. So she'll, she'll be here tomorrow. I'd like to thank you all for listening. Again, if I was a little bit too whatever, a bit emotional in the morning, um, I do apologize. It's these things do happen. They get to you. They get, we've, got, we've seen it. We've, we, some of us have suffered in this country where we shouldn't be. Uh, uh, you know, and I know some of you say suffering care. You have a car. It's not about car house. It's a state of the mind. Some of us want to have an equal standing in the world. We don't want people referring to us. I mean, look at the word that Trump used way back then about the continent. And this is a continent that has had statesmen. The likes of Zikiwe, the likes of Awo, Kwame Nkrumah, Nyerere, Nelson Mandela. You know, <laughs> heaven help us all.
I'd like to thank you all for listening and Feta, thanks for me. I like your new glasses so. Uh uh. Who got you? <laughs> I see you all tomorrow at nine. Bye.